In this problem, f of x represents the velocity of an object in feet per second at time x seconds moving on a straight track. Estimate the distance of the object traveled during the given time interval using the given number of rectangles, which we'll uh, talk about in this, this video, and using left or right sums as instructed. So here's the function that they gave us for this particular one, f of x equals x squared. Between x equals 0 and x equals 4, that's the interval, using left sum with two rectangles of equal width. Okay, so we have our two rectangles. It's a left sum picture. Our interval width is, well, we want to have two rectangles. So our delta x interval width is going to be the end point of the right minus the left divided by the number that you want. You want two intervals, two subintervals, two rectangles. So you're going to have the right end point of the interval is 4 minus the 0 is the left end point divided by the number that you want is 2 and that divides to a width of 2. So this is just technicalities here. X0 is, happens to be 0, that's the A. X1 equals X0 plus 1 increment, which gets you to 2. And X2, which is Xn, is equal to X0 plus 2 of those increments, which gets you to the 4. And over on the graph you see over here, 0 is your first point. 2 and then 4 because your delta x is supposed to be 2 each time 2 each time okay and um, from going from 0 equals a to 4 equals b the intervals are usually referred to as a to b and in this example it's 0 to 4 all right now we want to use left sum rectangles. So we take the velocity value at the left endpoint and count that as the velocity during the entire interval. So we have a rectangle of height 0. So that will be a rectangle of height 0 times the entire interval here, across here, as with 2, so times 2, plus this rectangle here, doing the left point in point velocity of 4, so that's your 4, over a delta x of 2, and that rectangle area is going to be 8 because it's going to be 4 times the delta x is 2. So that gives you 8 feet. And that's the answer to the question. The estimate is 8 feet. Now here's some technical notation over here. A left sum is a summation from a counter letter. Let's say i. i equals 0 to 1 in this case because uh, you'll take the velocities at x sub i and multiply them by the delta x and add those up. So when i is 0, this is f of x sub 0 times 2. f of x sub 0 is f of 0 and also over here f of x sub 1 times 2 and the counter stops at 1. So that's our left sum f of 2 times 2 f of 0 is 0, f of 2 is 4 and you get the 8 feet. So that's what's really happening in the notation behind the scenes. And this over here is the simple additions that you do. So that's a left sum rectangle picture on the graph there.